Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, flyway design pattern implementation. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch flyway design pattern introduction, flyway design pattern uh, cast diagram, flyway design pattern sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Now we will see the scenario of uh, flyway design pattern. Uh, suppose say in my application, I want to create uh, uh, 50,000 uh, red color circles, 40,000 uh, green color circles, 60,000 blue color circles, 70,000 uh, orange color circles, 20,000 black color circles. So around uh, 3 lakhs uh, uh, circle objects I have to create. Okay. So what we used to do is we will use new operator and create the circle objects. So if I create 3 lakhs uh, new circle objects, it will occupy uh, more memory and it will affect the uh, performance of the application. So how I can uh, improve the performance? So what I can do is I can use the flyway design pattern uh, to avoid this kind of uh, memory issue. So we will see how I can uh, improve the performance. So what I can do is I can uh, create the circle object without any color and put it in the hash. Okay. So only one circle object will be created and that circle object will be in the hash and whenever I need to create a different uh, color uh, circle object what I have to do is I have to take this circle object which is in the hash and then I have to fill with the color suppose I want to create a red color uh, circle object I have to get uh, this circle object uh, from the hash and fill with the red color okay and uh, like that I can create as many circles I want. So in this way uh, only one circle object will be created. That circle object will be shared to create uh, multiple uh, circle object. Okay. So instead of creating 3 lakh uh, circle object only one circle object will be created and that circle object will be reused to create the multiple uh, uh, color, circle object with the different colors. Okay. So in that way I can improve the performance and uh, in flyway design pattern uh, there are two important states are there. Uh, the first state is uh, intrinsic and uh, second state is extrinsic. Uh, intrinsic uh, states are things that are constant and uh, it is stored in the memory. Okay. So in this case uh, the circle object uh, shape is constant it will never change. So the shape is intrinsic state. The second uh, state is extrinsic. Extrinsic uh, states are things that are not constant and needs to be calculated on the fly and therefore not stored in the memory. So in this uh, example, uh, the color is not constant, right? One time it is red color, one time it is green color, one time it is blue color like that. So in this uh, example, uh, the extrinsic uh, state is color. Okay. And uh, so this is the scenario of uh, flyway design pattern. Um, now we will see how we can uh, uh, do the class diagram uh, to implement this uh, scenario. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which you have just seen. The top you can see a uh, shape interface. It has a uh, draw method and uh, this shape interface is implemented by uh, circle class and uh, this circuit class provide the implementation of uh, uh, the draw method which is in the shape interface. So you can see uh, draw method in the circle class. So what this uh, draw method will do is it will uh, draw the circle. Okay. And uh, this circle has uh, four attributes. Uh, one is uh, color, another one is x, uh, y and the radius. Okay. And if you want to create the circle object without any color, you have to call uh, this uh, circle constructor without any parameter and uh, suppose if you want to create a circle object with uh, color then you have to call uh, uh, the circle constructor with uh, color uh, parameter okay and uh, here you can see uh, shape uh, factory so it has uh, shape map so basically uh, this map act as a hash okay so key will be the string and uh, value will be the shape Okay, and it has a get shape method. You have to pass a shape type. So in this case, a shape type will be circle. So 
repass uh, circle uh, so what this method will do is it will check uh, in this uh, shape map uh, the circle object is already there or not if it is there then it will uh, get the circle object from the shape map and uh, it will return to the color if it is not there it will create the new circle object and put it in the map for the later use then it will return the uh, new circle object to the color okay uh, flyweight pattern uh, demo class uh, it is a client class uh, which is used to explain this uh, flyweight design pattern it has a main method okay um, so this is the class diagram of flyweight design pattern now uh, I will open the code in Eclipse and uh, I will explain the code okay okay I have opened Eclipse uh, now we will see the code um, so you can see interface uh, shape uh, which has uh, draw method uh, this method is uh, abstract method and uh, the circuit class uh, which implements the shape interface and uh, provide implementation of uh, draw method okay so basically uh, this draw method will uh, draw the circuit okay uh, so it has x coordinate y coordinate radius and uh, color attribute okay and uh, shape factory dot java uh, so it has uh, shape map so which act as a hash okay and uh, key will be the string and value will be the shape uh, object and uh, it has uh, get shape method so you have to pass uh, shape type so in this example uh, uh, shape type will be the circle okay uh, suppose if you want to add uh, more shape uh, you can add that is possible you can add rectangle triangle etc okay so currently uh, in this example I have taken only a, a circle shape so you have to pass uh, shape type as uh, circle and uh, first it will check the circle object is there in the shape map if it is there then uh, it will uh, it will get the circle object from the map and it will return to the color if uh, shape object is not there then it will create the new circle object and put it in the shape map for the later use and it will return the circle object to the color okay and flyweight pattern demo dot java so it's a client class which is used to explain the flyweight design pattern okay so first uh, what i am doing is i am creating a red color circles um, so i am putting in the for loop so i put it in 10 times uh, otherwise uh, the output will be more right uh, so you can see dot of uh, sys out in the console so instead of 50,000 I just put uh, 10 for uh, this uh, example to explain this one okay and uh, so what I am doing is I am getting a circle object from the shape factory and uh, on the fly I am setting the color okay first I am uh, creating red color circle then I am creating green color circle like that I am creating uh, blue color orange color and black color okay so I will run this uh, program so this is the output okay so you can see only one time circle object is created you can see so this is a circle object 10385z1 same uh, circle object is used to create uh, multiple uh, circles with different color you can see uh, color red color red and uh, green color circles green color circles so all of these circles has created using the same uh, circle object okay so now if you see this one around 50 circles we have created but we didn't create 50 circle object we have created only one circle object and we are reusing that uh, circle object okay so in that way uh, we can avoid creating uh, multiple uh, circle object and we can reuse the existing circle object in that way we can improve the performance okay uh, i think uh, now you understand uh, flyway design pattern uh, implementation clearly and I have put together all this sample code in my blog called RAMJDE. You can uh, just visit this site and get the sample code. 
and this is about flyweight design pattern implementation and thanks for watching bye